Before we talk about characteristics of Fauvism, let's take a trip to the late 19th century just after the Franco-Prussian War and into the early 20th century before World War I in France, during a time known as La Belle Époque. This was known to be a prosperous, peaceful, optimistic time when France became more industrialized and technologically advanced. As a result, impression, the Impressionism movement emerged where artists painted modern scenes of everyday life. The artists portrayed views of how they interpreted their surroundings in a moment. It is full of movement and space and the changes in light and color over time. Then came post-impressionistic movements, like the work of Van Gogh, where themes of emotions and thoughts take the form of abstraction. As an extension of these post-impressionistic works was birthed Expressionism, a form of art where accuracy is left behind for representation of the feeling, thoughts, and mood of the artist. Along with post-impressionistic works, Expressionism was a reaction to Impressionism. It focused more on the pure emotion of color, light, and contour through simple forms, loose brush strokes, and two-dimensional objects. Now we've reached Fauvism, the beginning form of Expressionism and an art movement that was very short-lived, lasting from 1905 to 1910 in Paris. Fauvism emphasized vivid and distinct color associated with emotion and sensation rather than real-world depictions. A prime example from the creator of the concept of Fauvism, aptly named because, because of its meaning wild beasts, from their radical diversion from traditional realistic depictions of people and the environment before the concept of abstraction, is Goldfish by Henri Matisse. The most obvious thing here is the color. Matisse combines complementary colors like blue, an orange, red, and green to increase the intensity of the color, especially to make the fish stand out in the center. The subject of, the, of goldfish most likely came from a trip that Matisse took to Morocco, where the locals would stare endlessly into bowls of goldfish. He mimicked this practice by creating a relaxed and thoughtful state of mind. Going off this, paradise is a common theme for Matisse. The golden aspect of this painting describes a golden age, a sign of paradise. In the background, there are many plants that can be observed. For Islamic culture, gardens, plants, and water are a sign of beauty or paradise. It is this peaceful and calming feeling that the painting attempts to spread to the viewer. Another thing common of Fauvism works is the absence of space and three-dimensional depictions. These artists focus on the canvas as a two-dimensional object and the breakdown of shapes and paint. Notice how the banister or chair in the corner lies flat and the fish table in the fish tank on the table can be both viewed from the top and the side at the same angle. In this image, brush strokes are evident and forms are highly simplified while being noticeable. Overall, Fauvism is an expression of emotion and what the artist is feeling in a moment. It separates color from its realistic association and allows it to exist as an independent entity in order to increase its emotional value.